The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's your pal Dr. Sal again. And today I have a very compelling and counterintuitive question for you. Imagine we ran a study and we had two groups of people. In one hand, they're all the same age between 35 to 55. So we've got a group of midlifers. In this hand here though, we batch all the ones who never take a drink. They're complete teetotalers. They're boring. This other group over here, however, love a little drink after working on the weekend. They're consuming roughly two units a day or 14 units per week. Now imagine we could come back 25 years later and examine these two groups. Which group would you think would have much more likely incidence of dementia, age-related mental decline? Would you expect it to be the people who never drink or the ones who enjoyed a drink over those 25 years every day? Well, the incredible answer in this study that just came across my desk is that it's actually the group who never drink that have the highest incidence of dementia. So what gives? Every time I have, have a drink of alcohol up until this point, I've always been worried thinking alcohol equals neuron damage. So let's take a look at this study and what it, how it pertains to your personal lifestyle and preventing the onset of dementia later in life. So we're looking at alcohol as it relates to consumption and developing dementia is alcohol our friend or a foe so to answer that question i'll put a link to under the video description of where you can check out this uh, study for yourself it was in the british medical journal so it's uh, pretty well peer-reviewed and it was a large study too pretty large it was about 10,308 people so we'll call it 10k and in this group, the distribution of males to females was, there was 6,895 males. So a little bit more males uh, than females, which is kind of what you might expect. And the age distribution that they looked at for these 10,000 people was age 35 to 55. The population that they use was some Brits. It was done on some civil servants in London, United Kingdom, not London, Ontario. Now they followed these individuals in the study for a glorious 23 years out, almost 25 years, to see of these people that they were studying, their alcohol consumption, how well did it correlate with the development of dementia. So it's a pretty big study and uh, quite a number of people and it's a long prospective study so it's fairly convincing. Um, what they found which was really surprising is that abstinence in midlife so in this age group here never drinking alcohol at all actually had a higher risk of dementia than if you drank less than say than if you drank between 1 to 14 units per week. So the people that drank none actually had a higher rate of developing dementia compared to their compatriots that were drinking um, 1 to 14 units per week. So roughly two standard drinks per day. And if you don't know what a standard drink is, I've uploaded another video on that previously. Now, What's interesting though, is that if you go over 14 units per week, then the rates of dementia again go up. So what this uh, suggests to us is that typically we used to think of alcohol consumption as kind of a, a J curve. So as you drank more and more of it, the more impaired and the more dementia you would expect to get. So if this is developing dementia, this is the amount of alcohol that you're drinking on this side, so called ETOH. The more you drink, the more you expect to dementia. It turns out actually though that this is not quite the case. It actually follows a U-shaped graph, more like that. So in other words, the more you drink up to a certain point, this threshold here which is 14 units, the less likelihood it is that you develop dementia. And when you go above this threshold, then obviously a lot of bad things happen, 
including um, death, accidents, dismemberment, uh, losing a job, etc. But in terms of dementia, the rate increases astronomically as you go up with alcohol. So that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, suggests to me that if you enjoy a glass of wine after work, it actually seems to be a good thing in terms of not developing dementia later on. I don't remember when I first started in practice, a lot of the senior doctors ahead of me that have been practicing for 50, 40 years, etc., um, used to prescribe to some of the elderly patients uh, a glass of sherry or brandy before bed, which they call like a little nightcap. So obviously having science behind me and feeling fresh out of school and full of hubris, I thought the old guys were fools. But it turns out, after 50 years of practice, these guys actually knew exactly what they were doing. It actually turns out that having a small drink a day, a little tote, is actually beneficial for the mind. Remember again, the caveat with this study is not to go beyond the 14 units. Above 14 units, you start causing uh, organ complaints, organ damage, including dementia. Also increases your risk of litigation, driving while impaired, uh, losing your job, etc., etc. So. In moderation, alcohol actually turns out to be a friend, not a foe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have another video for you in another week, uh, explaining some other dimension of medicine and more insider secrets. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.